riding on Century Drive. There's no cars here. It's early season. You can't see, but there's snow on the left and right of me. You can't see some paddles in the picture there. I'm planning on doing some rafting up here in the snow. Uh, so that's what I'm up to. It's very quiet up here today because it's actually kind of cold. I think it's, well, probably about 40 degrees right now, and it's a Tuesday, so people are working, and uh, we're going up anyways, because there's no such thing as bad weather, only poor clothing choices, but Honestly, if it was precipitating, I wouldn't be here. I'm only up here because it's not precipitating. So I guess there is such a thing as bad weather. Uh, anyways, I'll check back in a bit. Trying to figure out what to do here. Bachelor's in front of me. There's fresh snow on Bachelor there. I could go to Devil's Lake. I've got a raft with me. So I'm either going to raft Devil's Lake or I'm going to see if I can float down this creek that's coming up. I think I'm going to try this creek, which is going to be kind of interesting because I don't know how I get back to here if I float down to the lake, but it looks like there's some snow melted along the edge of the creek. I could probably just walk back along the edge of the creek. I'll show you the creek here coming up to the bridge. Right now, I don't know if I can ride this or not, so we'll try to ride down into the creek. I'm on a, basically a road bike. This is kind of sketchy. down the hill, but anyways, there's the creek, and it goes out there, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to blow up my raft and see about floating down it. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm about ready to go. I've got my backpack inside, inside here, 
there's a zipper on the back side of this boat that lets me put my back equipment inside which is really cool so I don't really have to have much out here I got a little bag down there by my feet with some stuff in it that I might need and of course my bike sitting on top of the boat uh, and the creek is here and so we're gonna see if we can float this creek at the base of Mount Bachelor Okay, here we go. I have no idea where I'm going or how I'm going to get back. Uh, I could get stuck having to walk through snow to get back. And this is my first time on my boat in like quite a while. So. It's going to be interesting because this creek is small. I'm probably going to scrape the bottom. I've basically forgotten how to navigate. Managed to get through there. Not hit bottom yet. some of that. My thought process is I'll be able to walk out on the grass you see on the side. Okay. Remembering how to navigate again. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Birds flying through the screen. Bachelor. Broken top. Geese. What?
just saw some beautiful flowers up there kind of in the frame right now, but you can't see them. So I'll look for the movie.
So I'm gonna have a hard time crossing that. Okay, so I decided to go downstream more. I'm gonna have to exit the stream on the right instead of the left because of the other stream coming in. But I checked out the snowpack. It's pretty firm. So if I have to hike across snow, I think I'll be all right. So we're gonna go a little further. <laughs> Let's see how that pans out. This is a big creek now because these two creeks come together. Oops, I'm on. 2.7 miles an hour. longer and we'll get to the lake. It's been a long float. I could end up with wet feet today. That's what it tells me. But Saw a fish jump. Can't get it in the frame. Okay, you can see where
made it to the lake at this point I'm thinking it might be easier just to cross the lake and go to the shore on the other side and uh, cliff it out because otherwise I gotta find my way back through all that area over there. Oh. <laughs> now I'm in the shallow part of the lake. I'm touching the reeds a little bit. So anyway, I think that's my plan. Is to get over to the side where there's dirt and just hoof it through the snow. It's actually probably 45 degrees out here now, so it's not terrible. Looks like I got the lake all to myself today, except for these geese over here. Having a good time on the ice shelf. I'd go straight forward from that frame, but there's ice. So I'm gonna have to go like straight towards Bachelor. There's where the ice ends loop around the ice and get back over to the as far east as I can. Starting to feel a little bit like a interesting trip. far east as I thought. I'm just going straight towards what I think is the like the boat launch area in the summer. So I'm gonna go to the shore there. It's obvious that I'm pretty well pretty well committed to boating today. I'm out in the middle of Sparks Lake. Soul around. See a lot of birds. A few fish jump. A little bit worried about how cold my feet are going to get getting out of here. Hike out, or boat out, or be on the snow, so I can find some dirt. It's mostly snow around here, really. So I can head it right to the shore here. somewhere else okay I've decided to end the boating part of this trip uh, it's funny that straps in the camera 
um, yeah, I've been on the water for a while, and so I'm going to pack up here and try to hoof it out. Uh, there'll be some dirt, obviously, but uh, I know when I get over this, it's going to be... Oh, look, here's the road right here. How interesting. So see, it's really not going to be that tough. This is the access road to the lake. I'm going to be hiking through some snow. I know it. But, you know, it's a finite amount of hiking through relatively firm snow. So I think we're looking good. So I'm feeling pretty good about this trip. It's a nice time on the water. And uh, we'll be getting back on the bike soon. Okay, so this video is going to show you the condition of this road coming out of Sparks Lake. It's the lake right there. The, the um, well, you know, the, the main area is on the other side of the frame um, over there on that shore where you see the snow. That's the main area people normally go to. And I am just boated to this shore. And now I'm gonna hike out because even though I could ride this part right here, but because uh, I'm still wearing my boat shoes because I've actually got uh, neoprene socks on because I'm anticipating walking through snow and I'm thinking those will keep my feet warmer in the snow. And uh, in my biking shoes and wool socks for my bike ride will be dry. So here we go. Let's see what this is like. So far it's pretty good, huh? This is uh, wonderful, but I suspect it's gonna, that I'm really going to have to hoof it through the snow in a bit. Let's see. I can feel the... I think it's the first time I've worn these neoprene socks. I bought them last summer towards the end of the year because I saw them on sale somewhere or something. So I got neoprene socks on and then some uh, boat booties. And I could probably show you. These are, these are boat booties here. And you see there's two layers there. So we'll see what that does. Because here we go. We're getting in the snow now. Okay. It's about, boy, but at this point it feels like it's 50 degrees out. Okay. And this, yeah. It is going to be challenging hiking on this in the warm weather. I'm mostly standing on it, but every once in a while you slip through, get my foot down. <laughs> so this would be better to do in the morning. But, you know, it's really not that cold out. So. Boy. Yeah, I'm sinking into this. So anyway, I think that video, you get the idea. It's working. And uh, that's all for this video. Okay, well, I've been hiking for, I don't know how long, about, my guess is about a half hour uh, through snow where I'm oftentimes sinking to a uh, foot deep in soft, wet snow, uh, just wearing these 
neoprene socks and river booties, cheap, cheap stuff that I bought on Amazon. I think the socks were like 20 bucks and the booties were like 10 or 20 bucks. And uh, looks like we're gonna make it. My feet are like, they're not cold at all. And, uh, like I can kind of feel a little coolness, basically. Uh, I can't tell if they're wet or not, really. But I wouldn't care if they were at this temperature. They're just fine. So, it's a really good idea to hike with neoprene and river shoes on in the snow, if that's what you got rather than biking shoes. So now when I get to the pavement, all I gotta do is pull off these river river clothes and uh, I've got some nice warm, dry wool socks and dry cycling shoes just waiting for me in my backpack. So I can't, oh, I just got, I just stepped into a big puddle. That was kind of ridiculous. There was a bunch of water I just stepped in. Anyway, uh, still don't necessarily feel wet in the feet. Not sure why that is. If maybe the neoprene booties actually do waterproof. I just, it doesn't really make sense because I've been sinking over the height of the booties but then I got these cycling pants on maybe they're preventing the snow from entering there we are okay so I have made it to uh, Century Drive which is close to row cars, but uh, I just did a big loop around uh, some creek, Soda Creek, I think, floated through uh, Sparks Lake, and came back to the main road. So, let's see what's next. So here's my reward, hanging in my hammock. I happen to be in the shade, which actually, at this moment, is kind of nice. I really haven't been cold today, even though it's like probably 50 degrees out here. Uh, but I'm just hanging by the creek. Got myself a bar I'm going to eat. And a bottle of water I'm going to drink. Kick back here for a little bit and get ready for the ride out. So, it's a good day. Well, it's a uh, four thirty, five o'clock. I uh, finished the lake cruise, the creek cruise. Now I'm climbing out. Feels warm now. I mean, I think it's like 45 degrees, but in the sun and no wind and climbing and wearing a down coat. I am toasty. Hmm. It's been a great day though. After the lake cruise, I uh Set my hammock up on the creek there. Took a, had a bar, took a nap. Actually took a nap for about a half hour, I think. And then a, a vehicle came through and woke me up. They let vehicles through for the 
resort nearby. Just getting ready for the winter season. I mean summer season. But anyway, a couple more miles of climbing and I'll be done. It's only a I'm at 10 miles for the day. I'll be about 15, I think, when I'm done. Maybe 14, something like that. Who knows, maybe 13, but not many miles today. Just a kind of recreational day. That's the beauty about uh, cycling, hiking, boating, get good at it, enables you to get there. And some days I think it's important to not worry about how fast you're going, or how many miles you did, how many feet you climbed. You know, get out in the woods any way you can, find a quiet spot in the sun if it's cool, or in the shade if it's warm. Get a hammock, lay in it, take a nap, listen to the birds. Maybe listen to some music. I mostly listen to music when I'm riding. Usually when I stop, I like to hear the forest. There's not much to hear right now. It's quiet. It's really interesting because we've got some weather coming. And today was supposed to be kind of an iffy day. At the moment, it's kind of like calm before the storm. So, we've actually got snow in the forecast for up here in May. Uh, but we get one more nice day and then a little return. Which actually would be a fun time to come up and camp up here. And, you know, bring a winter tent, kind of a bomb proof setup, and do that. That'd be fun. Okay, onward. done with it. Well, uh, halfway through the second climb, getting close to done. I don't know if this video is any good. I just thought it's so peaceful out here. Maybe I should turn the camera around. It's not like super scenic. It's just so nice. It's so nice to take a day easy. It reminds me of a video I saw on YouTube recently. Some guy talking about being burnt out. I couldn't really follow what he was saying because I guess I don't get burnt out. If I'm not enjoying myself out here, I stop, you know, 
uh, every minute of it's got to be enjoyed. Well, I guess that's not true. There's times when you kind of push it and stuff, but there's got to be some uh, reward for being out here. For me, I like to think that I'm dancing when I'm out here. A lot of times I listen, most of the time, I'm listening to music when I'm riding. And, uh, and I'm basically dancing. I very frequently get my rhythm to the beat of the music, either double time or half time or on time. You know, there's usually a way to make it work. Uh, and you dance on the pedals, literally. You know? It's like if I went to a, a rock concert and I was dancing. Uh, I don't think I'd ever get tired of that. You know? Unless I was physically tired. And then, of course, you sit down and just listen to the music. And that's what I do out here. If I get tired, I'll just sit down and listen. And listen to my body, too. You know, I don't, well, I never really did do prescribed exercise. I always just rode on what my body tells me to do. I think it's a lot more enjoyable. I mean, unless you're training to race and make money being an athlete professionally, there's no point in worrying about it too much. Just enjoy yourself. Don't worry about your speed. I already said that. I'm repeating myself. I know. I figured I'm just going to throw this video up. The whole day's worth of videos. Unedited. In one big video. So, it's going to be really long and really boring and nobody's going to watch it. So, if somebody is watching it, I'll, I'll treat them to a nice boring video. You know, if you're going to do something, do it right. So, here we are, making a boring video. Maybe I'll just let the video run the whole way back. <laughs> I'm pretty close, actually. I'm, uh, I don't know if I've said exactly where I'm at. There's so many things I've said to the camera, but I'm by Mount Bachelor in Bend, Oregon. The road's closed to cars because it's early season. Approaching uh, Dutchman Flat, which is where my car is. I don't usually uh, drive to ride up here. I'd usually ride up here, but uh, I got a late start today, uh, and I had a whole bunch of things I wanted to do up here. Wanted to go boating, wanted to set up my hammock, have an easy day. Uh, so I drove up. I don't like to drive for adventures at all, really. 
there's a video on YouTube, I think it's called From the Doorstep. I think you should watch that. It's pretty cool. Leaving from your door, not using gas. It's a good thing. I know sometimes you gotta use a car. It's, I'm not like a strict environmentalist in that way. I just like the idea. Coasting downhill now. I think the video gets a little jumpy. I do that. Gates are in sight. So few people up here today, it's amazing. I've been up here like, I don't know, a lot lately. And a couple days, a few days ago, it was like 70 degrees up here. There was so many people. There was kids on skateboards, seeing people uh, riding with skis on and skiing the mountains nearby. One guy spent the night, slept right on the street. Obviously people riding their bikes. Lots of, mostly that. And, uh, it's just a great thing to have this road closed this time of year. I mean, really, I'm pretty much pro closing roads anytime to cars because uh, it's so nice to have this kind of piece out here. Final meters or yards. So you can see the English system. So I can tell you how many cars there are here. On uh, Tuesday, at, uh, oh, it's almost six o'clock now. Uh, looks like well, I can't tell you. One, two, three, four, five cars here. And uh, one of them's mine. I gotta do a little dirt here to get around the skate. Five cars. Wow, big time. That's it. Thirteen, thirteen miles in three hours. <laughs> That's not a speedy day, but it was a beautiful day, wasn't it? It was.